guys welcome back to my channel today I have a little inspirational video for you guys these are things that I have been practicing myself over well since forever I'm gonna talk about um, five things to remember when you're feeling down when you're feeling extremely discouraged these things can help you out regardless of any situation even if you don't really feel it right away or your situation is just like super super bad I hope these tips will help somebody you know because they kind of help me and I just wanted to share them you know it's nothing like super special or anything but you know I just want to share a little piece about a little piece of how I cope I guess so number one the first thing to do when you're feeling down is just say things could be worse I mean, what better way to look at your situation than to look at what didn't happen, you know what I mean? It's kind of like reverse psychology, I guess. Things can always be worse. Now, I know sometimes that's like a shitty thing to say to someone, like, oh yeah, it could be worse, and, you know, this is going on, and that's going on, and, you know, oh, but well, it could be worse. You know, sometimes it's kind of bad, but in a lot of situations, it's not bad. You know, if sometimes if you really, really look at your situation and you kind of look at it in that point of view, it helps you feel a little better for the moment, you know? Now, it might not actually be, like I said, that's not always the best way to look at it, but it's a pointer. It's a tip that I've thought about a lot of times in a lot of situations, and it actually kind of got me through, knowing that things could be way worse. Number two, that kind of, you, you can kind of say that it goes along with number one, count your blessings. Of course, that's like a cliche thing to say, but again, it's true. It kind of goes along with number one, because if you count your blessings, then you realize that things are not as bad as they could be. Hopefully, in a lot of situations, things are not as bad as they could be. There's always something good to look at, even in any situation, even if the situation is just horrible. Even if there's multiple situations, there's always something to, to look forward to. Not forward to. Mm -hmm. I'm saying something to be happy for, you know? Even if everything is, like I said, it's just completely negative. If you look at your blessings and you focus on your blessings, it'll make the situation just a little bit better. You know, just a little bit. Because we all have bad things that happen in our lives, you know, sometimes repeatedly. Sometimes it's just a constant spiral of things happening in your life that you can't really help. But, you know, all you can do is just look at the good sometimes. Sometimes you can't always look at the bad. You gotta look at the good. And yeah, that's pretty obvious. I've been telling myself all this for years and years and years, but um, it hasn't really registered much until just this year, I guess. I don't know. It, it wasn't easy then because I wasn't really at a point to where I could do that. You know, I was just like, okay, you tell me, tell me to um, think positive. I'm looking at you like, okay, fuck you. You don't know what I'm going through. And it's like, okay, sometimes if you just think about the blessings, think about the good things that are, that are going on, everything else won't seem so bad. So, I don't know. That's just a little tidbit that that continue, continues to help me out, you know. And I don't always do that, but I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better and better and better, and it works. Number three. This is a big one. Don't compare your progress to others. I say that's a big one because we all have a tendency of doing that. Don't tell me that you don't because we all do. Everybody in some form or fashion compares themselves to someone else. And you really should not do that. People go through things at different stages in life. People don't reach the same stage at the same time. We're all different. We never like I said, reach the same stage at the same time. We're all at different points in life. We're all at different spiritual levels. We're all at different um, by, uh, uh, frequencies. You know, all of that. So, you can't compare your progress to somebody else. If somebody else is appearing to, to be doing way better than you, then you can't look at yourself and say, oh man, well, I'm not really doing anything because I'm not measuring up to you. No, that's not the case. Look at your own progress. Focus on your own progress and focus on the things that have helped you 
focus on yourself and don't worry about the people. Don't let anybody tell you that your progress is stagnant or you're not making progress. You're definitely making progress. Just know the progress for yourself and keep working on it. Don't try to put your life in somebody else's hands or don't compare yourself to others too much because that's, that's just going to give you an unhealthy expectation of what your life should be and that's always always the case and I used to kind of do that still kind of somewhat do that but it's not as bad you know nowadays um well, not nowadays but for a long time I just get people telling me what I should be doing at this point in, in life and what I should be doing with my life and I'm just like no you don't even know me get out of here I'm not you I'm not gonna be doing what you're doing you're doing I'm not good at what you're doing and you're not good at what I'm doing you know oh well, hey we're going to reach these, two, these stages at different times. I might have already gone through what you've gone through. But maybe you haven't reached something out that I've already surpassed. You know, that's just life. We're all on different levels here. We can't compare. There's nothing to compare, you know. Even if you have a twin or something, or even, even with your spouse, you can't compare yourself to your spouse. Because what if you and your spouse are on different levels? That's just how it is sometimes. Not everything is going to be that easy. It's just not good to compare. It's not good for your self-esteem. It's not good for your mental health. It's not good for anyone, really. Just being real about it. <laughs> Number four. Your reactions determine your outcome. Another pretty cliche one that we hear a lot, but it's true. How you react to something will determine your outcome. That's always, always the case. Now... I know it's easier said than done. Oh, it's always easier said than done. Life is not easy, and staying positive is not easy. That's like the hardest shit to do in the world. Like staying positive, even through the deepest depths of hell, that's the hardest shit in the world, honestly. But your reactions, though, you can't always try not to respond negatively to everything. Because the more negative emotions you put out there, that's what your life is going to just grab onto and kind of fester in. You know what I mean? Now, like I said, life is life. You're always there's always going to be something negative going on. There's always going to be something to complain about. You just got to be real about things. You can't just you can't sit around and pretend to be positive all the time or pretend like everything's going well when it's not. No, don't pretend. I'm not saying fake that shit. No, hoo hoo. But your reaction to things you might look at something and it's like oh well this is you know man this is happening and you complain and complain for how many hours about it but then what you do is you come right back around and say oh well it is what it is it'll get better this storm won't last and the moment you say that you've just given given yourself power to not focus on you know what i mean or not or not brood on it i guess you give yourself just a little bit of power now of course that doesn't erase the problem it sure doesn't it really does not, but it helps you get through it. It helps you, it might actually help you not complain as much. You know what I mean? Like I said earlier, um, try to look at the good. That will help you look at the good. If you come back around with a positive reaction, even after all your ranting and raving, in time, it'll, it'll kind of help. It'll, it'll help calm you down. Like I said, maybe not the heat of the moment. Some people are better, than, better with that than others. There are people who generally have anger issues and they can't fully calm down as fast or as easy as someone else but if you, if you learn how to calm yourself in a situation you're good you got to stay calm that's one thing I'm always good at I always stay calm I might rant and rave to somebody online I might uh, blow up somebody's inbox if I feel like ranting if they let me rant you know I might text somebody if I need to text somebody and that's just it I'll just rant and rave there I might say a couple of things you know online depending on the situation and like I said at the end of the day um, I've learned to wrap back around and say well shit happens it is what it is just gotta wait for the storm to pass you know and like I said it's not always easy y'all I'm going through a million and one storms right now literally a million and one it's not always easy but like I said your outcome I mean your reaction determines your outcome how you react to something will determine, pro probably, in some ways, determine how fast the problem will get solved or how someone else will react to it, how someone else will help you, you know, fix the problem. You know what I mean? It's always about your reactions, how you respond to stuff. Learn to respond, learn to have a better response to things. 
who knows, maybe it'll just turn out for the better. And number five, get fresh air. That's a big one no one ever paid to, pays attention to. No one ever pays attention to getting fresh air. No one pays attention to getting out and getting exercise much because when things are going on, sometimes you just need a breath of fresh air. Now, we all know indoor air is not the best, but neither is the outdoor air because the air is just all fucked up in many ways right now, but you know, you just can't help it. If you need to breathe, just step outside for a little while, take a walk, get into nature, go spend some time in nature, that will automatically calm you down. You might not feel it at first. Especially if you're one of those people who don't really have a connection with nature. You're just like, Psh, what the hell are you talking about? But I'm serious. Go spend some time in nature. Go get some fresh air. It always helps. In every situation, it always does help. Even if it's just for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Get away from the situation if you can. Me, I don't get to take walks as much as I would like to. I don't get to go out in nature as much as I would like to. But sometimes if I'm just really really worked up about the kids I'll just step outside or I'll just take a little walk hopefully my husband's home because you know I can't really go off anywhere if he's not home but when he is home I can go take a walk if it's a decent time of day or it's not raining I just go take a walk because my anxiety y'all my anxiety mm -mm, can't it, I can't handle it sometimes I just need to go and breathe go out in nature like I said go look at the trees go talk to the trees <sighs> just go and breathe take a deep breath and that helps. That always does help. That generally does help, even after you tried the other things that I mentioned. That generally helps the most. For real. So those are five things to remember when you're feeling down, when life is getting you down. Um, I hope those tips will help somebody. They're just basic tips for most, but you know, I hope it'll help anyway. I just want to share some things and some experiences that help me out and continue to help me out every day. So yeah. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I had a great day today. I am exhausted because I did my, um, I worked out. I did my 10,000 steps today and my legs are singing the blues, but I'm happy I did it. And I homeschooled my kids today and that was rough, but I got through it, you know. Hey, I'm just trying to live, you know. I'm just doing my thing, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoy those tips. Leave any comments or suggestions down below. Let me know some things that you do when you're feeling really, really, really down. Like, really down. Let me know how you cope and what you do to soothe yourself. Thank you guys for all the support and all the new subscribers who are subscribing. Thank you and welcome. Thanks for watching. Peace out.